Cue music. Cue girl. Cut to one. <laughs> Well, I'm here with Claire Grogan and Nick Hayward, who are both giggling and being rowdy, and I feel about 50. Now, tell me, Claire, you've got a, an incredible change of image. How did you decide who you were going to sort of copy a bit, or did you copy anyone? I was simply told who I was going to copy. Oh, <laughs> no, I, I wasn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You no, I, just, it. I did, yeah. We watched a lot of Audrey Hepburn films and decided... It Actually, was I said thing. Natasha Kinsky and I think... <laughs> and you also like Doris Day. Are you a member of the Appreciation Society? Of course I am. I've seen all the films. I've ever seen more than you have. Yeah, you probably have. Which are your favourites? Um, Don't Eat the Daisies, I guess, is one of the all-time classics. But I like, like you, I like all the ones she did with Rock Hudson. Now, in Doris Day films, there's always Rock Hudson, Doris Day, and Dor Doris wears the pyjama top, and Rock wears the pyjama bottom. But now you've got the sophisticated image. You could sort of do one with Nick. Do you fancy any more film roles? Oh, yeah, if there was Nick. <laughs> what about you? Are you going to move into films now? I'm embarrassed now. Are you going to be the new Rock Hudson? No, I'm not doing any films. I'm not getting any cameras. I'm not going to take any photographs. I'm just going to play music. <laughs> but you are doing those cartoons. Tell me a bit about them. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to draw a cartoon strip for a Japanese magazine monthly thing, you know. And what are the characters based on? Uh, there's, one, there's the family, uh, Ralph, who, um, uh, Rex, who hates everything and goes everywhere by chair. And uh, a few other characters, actually. Oh. Do you still go swimming? Because you were a, virtually an Olympic swimmer, weren't you, Nick? I wasn't actually Olympic. But, uh... Almost Olympic. Look at this, look at this. Now, this is the moment many fans have waited for, in actual fact. They don't want to hear the questions. They want to see the chest. How many medals have you got? Uh, I don't know, I had to give them away. Why? Well, I went through a very hard time, you know. Oh, and you sold your medals? Yeah. Now, Claire, is being, Claire. Claire is being flirted with a great deal. <laughs> what plans have you got in the future? Are you on tour and what, what record things are coming out? Oh, um, I've got a new single coming out on the 8th of July called Love to Stay. And I'm going to America and that's all. And I'm going to tour in autumn, but I don't know. When you're so busy, what do you do when you have a day off? I usually sleep it away, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm usually so exhausted, there's nothing else for it but sleep. Now, Nick, tell me, this is <laughs> casting your way back to your extreme youth without swallowing the bottle. What, d ago. what did you do on your first date? My first date? I ran away. Uh, you didn't. I did, yeah. What did you, well, how come? I was embarrassed. Why? Well, all that sort of kissing, you know. You like... kissed her? No. Well, right, now we know. Nick Hayward kissed his girlfriend on the first date, and you know everything else, but I don't know what's next. Oh, we've got the celebrity walkabout. Here it comes. Well, as you can see, a complete galaxy, galaxy of stars here, here this evening. For instance, behind me, Paul Young.